Returning to our coverage of the looming deployment of Texas National Guard troops on the border, right now the DPS has the task of training a small cadre of National Guard members and what its soldiers will encounter there. That group of soldiers will teach the rest of them skills that they'll need, including basic Spanish. But in the border communities, some business leaders there worry any militarization could affect the bottom line. And as KXAN investigator Robert Maxwell uncovered, they're taking their case to Governor Rick Perry. Mas, mas, as this promotional video shows, business leaders in McAllen want a clear path to growth. They say that path hinges on luring manufacturing jobs here from places like South Korea and Japan. What would damage that, they fear, is the image of a thousand Texas National Guard soldiers rumbling through the streets of this century-old industrial community. In a new letter from the president of McAllen's Chamber of Commerce to Governor Perry, Steve Alenius writes of the unintentional damage that will result to our community. And while the chamber backs the additional support from DPS along the border, it suggests the presence of an armed National Guard may actually hinder operations. The letter makes reference to the accidental shooting death in 2006 of a Mexican child by a U.S. Special Ops Marine patrolling near El Paso. Other groups in the valley, such as labor rights agency Lupe, worry the presence of soldiers will slow the ground-level economy, too. Its leaders contend the more your town is militarized, the more fear in a community where undocumented workers buy local groceries, visit local doctors, and have kids in the local school district. We reached out to Governor Perry's office to ask if the chamber letter and the other less formal opposition will impact the pace of the deployment. We're waiting to hear back. Robert Maxwell, KXAN Investigates. The 1,000 National Guard troops could make a big impact at the border, but they will not be the biggest force there. The U.S. Border Patrol had more than 9,700 agents stationed in Texas last year. Plus, there are an unspecified number of DPS agents involved in Operation Strong Safety. That DPS surge has cost us nearly $7 million, and the National Guard activation comes with a price tag of $12 million per month. Over the weekend, we learned that $12 million will come out of a $38 million jackpot that was left over after the DPS upgraded their radio equipment. The governor was allowed to use the excess money for emergencies, but $38 million will only fund the program for three months or so. It's not clear what would happen after that. Some lawmakers say Governor Perry should call a special session of the legislature.